Hello and welcome to this training on short circuit fault level calculation. Today we're going to see how to calculate the fault current for electrical systems. Let's see the calculation for the following system single line diagram. This system consists of a source of 11 kV and a transformer of 11 kV by 0.415 kV. This system consists of four numbers of motors connected as load, operating at 415 volts, for power transmission, seven runs of 20 meter, 400 square millimeter cable, and one run of 30 meter, 400 square millimeter cable are used. We'll calculate fault current for these points. Point number one. Point number two and point number three. For calculation of short circuit current at point number one. Available data. The line voltage is equal to 415 volts, that's 0 0.415 kilovolts, KVA is 2000, and the percentage impedance is 6%. Step one, we'll calculate the impedance of transformer in ohms from percent impedance using the following formula. Impedance of the transformer equals percentage Z times 10 times KV squared, all divided by KVA. Therefore, Z transformer equals 6 times 10 times 0 0.415 squared, divided by 2000, which comes to 0 0.005166 ohms. Step 2. Calculate the short circuit current at point number 1 using the following formula. Short circuit current equals 1.05 times the line voltage divided by root 3 times Z transformer. Therefore, ISC equals 1.05 times 0 0.415 all divided by root 3 times 0 0.005166. So, ISC equals 48.7 kiloamperes. So we can say fault level at point 1 is equal to 48.7 kiloamperes. Calculation of short circuit current at point number 2. Available data Z transformer is 0 0.005166. Z cable between point number 1 to 2 is 0 0.0778 ohms per kilometer. Number of runs are 7 and the distance point 1 to 2 is 20 meters, which is 0 0.02 kilometers. Now we'll calculate the Z cable by this formula. Z cable equals ohms per kilometer multiplied by distance in kilometers and divided by number of runs. So we have 0 0.0778 times by 0 0.02 divided by 7, which equals 0 0.00022 ohms. Now ISC equals 1.05 times the line voltage, all divided by root 3 times the Z transformer plus Z cable. That equals 1.05 times 0 0.415 all divided by root 3 times 0 0.005166 plus 0 0.00022, which equals 46.1 kiloamperes. So the fault level at point number 2 is 46.1 kiloamperes. So we can say fault level at point 2 is 46.1 kiloamperes. Next, we'll see the short circuit current at point number 3. So we have available data. Z transformer is 0 0.005166. Z cable between points number 1 and 2 is 0 0.00022 ohms. Z cable between points number 2 to 3 is 0 0.0778 ohms per kilometer. The number of runs is 1. And the distance between point 2 to point 3 is 30 meters, which is 0 0.03 kilometers. 
So Z cable equals ohms per kilometer multiplied by distance in kilometers, all divided by number of runs, which gives us 0 0.0778 multiplied by 0 0.03, all divided by 1, which comes to 0 0.002334 ohms. Now I short circuit equals 1.05 times the line voltage, all divided by root 3 times Z transformer plus Z cable point 1 to 2 plus Z cable point 2 to 3. And that gives us 1.05 times 0 0.415, all divided by root 3 times 0 0.005166 plus 0 0.00022 plus 0 0.00234. Which comes to 33.5 kiloamperes. So the fault level at point number 3 is 33.5 kiloamperes. The following are the different fault levels at different points. At number 1, 48.7 kiloamperes, 46.1 kiloamperes at point 2, and 33.5 kiloamperes at point 3.